Hi, first graders. Welcome to Knowledge 2, Lesson 5, The Body Super Highway. Our first vocabulary word today is blood vessels. Say blood vessels. Blood vessels are passageways through which blood circulates within the body. So these passageways are called arteries, veins, and capillaries. The next one is circulatory system. Say circulatory system. The body system made up of the heart and blood vessels responsible for moving blood throughout the body is the circulatory system. And the last one is pulse. Say pulse. Pulse is the regular beat of the blood in your arteries as the heart pumps throughout your body. Ouch! Yesterday I caught my finger. Yes, even a pediatrician like me sometimes has little accidents. The fun part is that I got to put on one of these cool polka dot bandages that I keep in my office. Have you ever cut yourself or skinned your knee? When people get a cut or scrape that breaks the skin, it usually bleeds. The blood that comes out is just a tiny part of all the blood you have inside of your body, and your body will make more to replace it. Blood keeps us alive. It travels through the body and carries everything your body needs to live. A grown-up like me has about 10 pints of blood. That's about the same as 20 glasses of water. The blood is not just sloshing around inside of you. It moves around through tubes called blood vessels. Some are big and some are small. A map of blood vessels in a human body looks like a bunch of tangled up spaghetti. But your blood vessels are actually laid out very carefully, like a well-planned system of highways and roads. They carry blood to every single part of you, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. They are part of a system called the circulatory system that includes your heart and blood. The blood is able to move through your blood vessels because of your heart. Your heart is a muscle about the size of your fist. Put your right hand on the middle of your chest. Now move it a little to the left. Your heart is underneath there. Inside your chest, protected by your rib bones, your heart is a very hard worker. Its job is to pump your blood around your body through your blood vessels. The movement of your blood around your body is called circulation. Okay, everybody, stand up. When I say go, run in place right where you are until I say stop. Ready, set, go. Run, 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 run. Place your hand on your chest. Can you feel your heart pounding? When you exercise, your heart has to work harder than when you rest, and it's easier to feel it beating. Your heart is hollow on the inside, which means empty. It is divided into four parts like little rooms. They are called chambers. The two top chambers hold blood coming into your heart. The two bottom chambers hold blood going out of your heart. Heart valves, like tiny little gates, separate the chambers. They open and close to let the blood in and out of the chambers. Now everybody, make a fist! In order to do this, you made the muscles of your hand tighten. That is what happens over and over again in your heart without you ever having to think about it. When the heart muscle contracts or tightens, blood goes out of the chambers. When the heart muscle relaxes, the blood flows in. Your body needs two things to stay alive, oxygen and nutrients. Oxygen is taken out of the air inside your lungs. Nutrients comes from food you eat as it moves through your intestines. Your blood carries the oxygen and nutrients to all the parts of your body so that you can stay alive, move, think, and grow. Your blood also cleanses your body. It takes away waste or things your body does no longer need. It, does, it takes about one minute for your blood to travel from your heart all the way around your body and back to your heart again. That's pretty cool. Veins, arteries, and capillaries are the type of blood, types of blood vessels that are found throughout your body. Veins bring blood to the heart. Arteries carry blood away from it. Capillaries are tiny blood vessels that connect to your arteries and your veins. They carry blood to even the smallest parts of your body. 
It is very important to have a strong, healthy heart. If you came to me for a checkup, I would use my stethoscope to listen to your heartbeat. A healthy heart makes a sound with each beat that sounds like this. The sound comes from the heart as it pumps the blood. Even, with a steth even without a stethoscope, you can feel your heart working. You can feel your pulse in places where there is an artery close to the skin. Try putting two fingers on the palm side of your wrist, just below your thumb. So if you take your hand just below your thumb, you come here and you press right here. I'm gonna have to move around a little bit and you will feel your heart beating. Each beat is caused by the squeezing of your heart. Remember that your heart is the most important muscle in your whole entire body. How do we make a muscle strong? By exercising it. That means moving hard and fast. When you dance, play basketball, swim, or jump rope, you are exercising not just your arms and legs, but your heart as well. Another way to take care of your heart is to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables that are good for you instead of soft drinks or soda, chips, and candy. By exercising and eating healthy foods, you'll be helping your heart stay healthy and strong for many years to come. Now here's a rhyming cheer for the part of the circulatory system that keeps it all going. My heart is always working. It's busy night and day. It's pumping while I'm sleeping and while I work and play. Let's give a cheer for hearts now, for hearts hip hip hooray. Next time we'll learn about the control center of our body. That's the brain. So don't forget to bring yours along. See you soon. Okay, first graders, you can click on the Google form all about today's read aloud.